Hey kitty cat, it's me, Jamie, and we're back for another Try It Tuesday. Y'all ready? Okay, here's what we're going to do today. Um, we're going to, and I hate to even say this word, because it harkens back to the days of my Sylvester um, video that I did with the whole lisp thing happening, but I'm going to have to say it anyway. We're going to make a mask. Yes, we're going to use masking on our layouts um, to do um, some journaling and, and a little title. Um, the idea came from this Create and Keep Six magazine, the June 2008 issue. And there is this kick butt article in here. Um, it's the CK Hotspot. And I get it's tips and tricks and different ideas. Oh, they've got some really neat ideas. I'm going to try to do a couple more of them maybe on here. Um, so I'm definitely bookmarking this little section. But the page that we're going to do, well, it's not a page, it's a technique, sorry, you know, is um, it's on page 109, and it's by Emily Falconbridge. Okay, do you know who Emily Falconbridge is? This woman has more artistic ability and creativity in her pinky toe than I have in my entire body, even when you add Christine on as my, um, what are those things called? As my twin, as my, as my conjoined twin. Yeah, that. So yeah, both of us ain't got it when it comes to Emily Falconbridge. She's the bomb. So, that being said, um, I'm going to show you a blurry picture again like I always do. Um, I don't think that I can put these actually on my blog, the pictures, because I think there might be some sort of copyright issues. So that's why I'm not actually putting it on here. But it's on page 109 in this issue. And so what she does is... Oh gosh, I wish you could see it better. There's this heart right here. And it goes like that all the way around. And in it she has some big words that look like she's hand drawn them, but I'm probably going to stamp them. And then little words like her journaling is all in the shape of this heart right here. It's a really groovy little heart. Oh, big heart. Um, and she uses that as like her journaling block. So that's what we want to do. We want to do masking. M-A-S-K-I-N-G um, for a journaling block. So, first thing it says to do is draw and cut a large heart from a piece of cardstock to use as a masking template. Dun dun dun! Okay, so I've already drawn it. Um, I freehanded mine, but um, you could totally go to like um, get some clip art or a dingbat on your fonts or whatever and, um, and print it out really big on a piece of paper. Okay, anyway, like I was saying before we were cut off, um, so I have my handy X-Acto knife here, and um, I'm horrible with these things, so trust me, this is not going to be some sort of precision um, cutting job here. Um, I'm just cutting out the heart that I drew on my cardstock. Like I was saying, you can totally just um, use clip art or um, a dingbat from one of your font programs if you have some of those and just um, print it off on an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper that should be sufficient for um, for the size heart that we're doing um, you don't want to cut in from the side of the paper because you're really not using this heart for your mask you're actually using this part of it so because this is what we're going to lay down on top of our page and um, and journaling. So I'm going to go ahead and cut mine down a little bit. I think just to um, make it smaller. I don't know if this is allowed or not, but it doesn't say it in the magazine. But that's what I'm doing anyway. Okay. All right. Second thing that she says to do is place it over your layout with the opening positioned where you'll want your journaling. Lightly tape it down around the outside edges. Oh crap! I don't know if I have any tape. I'm going to have to wing it. Shh, don't tell Emily. Okay, and I went ahead and I've got this layout that, um, that I started working on, um, of my kiddo at the pool. So, and I painted across the bottom here because on Emily's page, she has it painted with white acrylic paint and it just looks so fabulous that I want to be cool like her. So, that's why I'm using the white acrylic paint for no other reason than that. Um, so I have my pictures positioned where I think I'm going to keep them. And then what I'm going to 
what my my ultimate goal here is to do something like no, I don't want to go over the kid's head. Hold on, let's see. Is that the right way? Yeah. Something along the lines of of this. So I have this big hole here for for journaling and stamping some words and stuff like that in it. So that's what I'm going to work on now. I'll go ahead and turn off the camera because um it's going to be just a bunch of detail work, and it's probably going to take a little while. So, stay tuned. We'll see how it goes. I'm sure it's not going to look near as good as Emily's, but we're going to see what we can do, okay? Okay, hold on. Okay, real quick, um, I'm right in the middle of the action here. I've got my Making Memories black paint, um, acrylic paint, and I busted out some old... Um, some old foam stamps. I got the bag of foam stamps. That's right, folks. This is tried and true. It ain't going nowhere. Okay, so, um, so I have these little guys, these little stamps here. La la la. And I am um, painting them with the black acrylic paint. And a, yeah, black acrylic paint. And stamping them onto my layout that I have the mask taped to. See how it's going? So, um, I'm kind of just winging it here. I figure what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, stamp these big images on there first. Like these big words like prune and cutie and wet. And then after I get those dudes stamped on there, I am going to... Um, sorry, can't stamp and talk at the same time. I'm going to go back and fill in with, um, with little words that I'll probably just journal. Um, kind of screwed that up there. See, I told you you can't stamp and talk at the same time. Why are you making me stamp and talk at the same time? Oh, now I ruined it. No, nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, anyway, so, so here's what we look like so far. Um, I'm working it out here. I'm in the Emily Falcon Bridge mode. So, uh, stay tuned. Let's see what happens. Ooh la la, mon chéri. No. <laughs> Just kidding. What is wrong with me today? I think it's because it's finals week at school. I'm feeling a little gamey. Sorry. Anyway, so here we are. I have completed my journaling and stamping and all that jazz. So it's all there inside of the, um, the mask and now it's time for the moment of truth. Will it work? When I pull the mask off, will it look right? Will it look like Emily Falconbridge's heart? I don't know if I can take the drama. Okay, are we, we're doing this together, right? I stuck it down with some Hermit tabs because that's all I had. So they should pop right up because, you know, it takes 42 of them to get something to stick, it seems like. Okay, pulling, pulling, pulling. It's off. What does it look like? I don't know. <gasps> wow. That looks freaking cool. Can you see it? It's like I made my very own pattern paper. I love you, Emily Falcon Bridge. You da bomb. I love this. Do you love this? Can you see it? Look. Look at me. I did it. 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 And la 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 la. Okay. I am so freaking thrilled right now. I'm so thrilled that my bangs are in my eyes. Ooh, I look like one of the Muppets, don't I? Shut up. Don't answer that. Okay, so. I'm so thrilled. I'm going to finish this sucker up now, and um, I will post the final display page. Dun dun dun! Did you just see that house fly fly by? It's so hard to find good fly swatters. Trixie, where are you? She should be taking care of these things for me. I hear it is coming back. Oh god. Okay, I'm going to finish up. I mean it. I promise. Next thing you're going to see is um, the final product. Ta-da! Yay! 